So the first thing we're going to do is look at jazzing up your fonts a bit. Here we have the name of my event, Boris Fine Name. Straight away, we want to look at the layout of this. If it's going on a poster, it may be going across the page. Actually, it might be better to have it in layers. So think, separate them out. Once you've done that, look at alignment. You probably want them centered. We can use this to left align, right align, and justify as we're writing. Again, I would have them centered. On PowerPoint, if you go to view, you can turn on the ruler and grid line, so it makes it a lot easier to line everything up. Once you've got everything, highlight, press Ctrl and A. That will select all of the items in a region. Go to home. Let's make this bigger. It's meant to be bold, it's meant to be exciting, so we want to think about size. From there, we want to look at the font type. Calibri is just designed for reading on a board. Maybe use something a little bit bolder, for example. From here, we could maybe change everything to uppercase, make it a lot bolder. Then think about colour. We want it to be eye-catching. For something like the school colours, we want maybe one section in red, one in yellow, one in blue, perhaps. Once you've got it filled, it doesn't look great on the page. It looks quite cheap, it looks quite basic. So again, select all with Control and A and then go to format, which is suggested here when it highlights. From here, it's quite good to have a text outline. This will make it bolder on the page, and when we put it over images, it will help the fonts to stand out in case the colors mix too much. What I've done is enlarged one of these pieces, which is a bit easier to see. From here, we've added a preset shadow. You can change the size of this as you wish. And again, with this, we can add or take away detail. So it may work for you, it may not, but it's things we can play around with. Also quite fun is adding a bevel to it. Again, you want to be careful with this. If you add too much, you can over egg it and it won't look great. From here, we can go back to basics as we were with our three layers of text. Again, highlight all, go to format, text effects, 3D rotation can give you a bit of perspective Again, everything in moderation here. Don't use it too much, but if we go into our text options again, you can change this. You can add to your bevel as well as editing the rotation there. So think how you might like it to look. If you compare what it looked like originally to now, you can see there's a lot more depth. It's a lot more visually strong. So let's have a look at creating a masthead or a heading. We're going to get rid of these two lines, which is a bit more on the sides. Go to quick styles. Let's have a little bit of background colour. From here, again, go to Format of Drawing Tools. You've got Shape Options down the side here you can change, or you can just do it quickly through here. So we can have a shadow again, maybe change the shape outline. If you want to go here, we can start working on gradients. These will have presets. Again, will make things possibly a little bit more interesting, but you have to be very careful. You don't do too much there, and it just ends up looking absolutely bonkers. So here we can see a roughly completed poster. We've got a picture in the background, which again, when you've got black and white underneath, you've got all these shades of grey, it makes it very difficult to read over. So I've kept a solid white font, but I've given it an outline, so it's a bit easier. Here with the Mega Drive and Dreamcast, it's still not that clear, so we may need to work on that more. But we've got the three layers of title here. We've used perspective and we've used an outline to thicken it up, make it a lot bolder from where we were before. So have a try with your own images. Remember, you don't really want more than two, three colours. Here we've actually got five over it maybe a bit much so again here we could change these to a blue or a red or green so it ties into that house style